Uh, hey, today is something very special. Maybe your kids are at school right now celebrating. It is Read Across America Day, and this actually launches a whole week woo, of reading. Um, and so we reached out to our friends at the Allegheny County Library Association. We have a wonderful partnership with them. We do our Book of the Month every month. We just had our, our February Book of the Month right. um, last week. And so we, we asked them about some books that might be fun for you to read at home with your kids or for your kids to read if they're of that age. So that's what we have spread out here. Yeah. So we're going to go through them because these are really the, the top ones. Well, these are some yeah. really popular ones. Really popular ones. Very okay. popular ones. Because so. um, some, some of the big ones, they're out. You can't find them. Yeah. So, um, and so the first uh, one is Dog Man. So we have Dog Man, and if your kids are into graphic novels, you probably know about this one. Well, did we not talk about this one, or was that another graphic novel? We, we probably talked about, talked about another okay. one. Okay. Um, so graphic novels are very popular, and I was told by Carrie Lane from the Allegheny County Library Association, um, this is the same author as Captain Underpants. Okay. <laughs> Captain Underpants. <laughs> also very popular. <laughs> Recommended. This will make perfect sense for second grade and up. Second grade, okay. third grade, you get it. It's like the silly ages, right? Well, anything that makes you laugh. And you know what? And anything that can encourage you to read. Right. And right. that's why I think the graphic, the, what, do you, what do you call them? The graphic novels. Graphic novels, novels. Yeah. yes. Okay, now over in front of you, Here. that one right there is the book with no pictures. Yeah. This is for ages three and up specifically. You know, this is just a roundabout time frame. Okay. Uh, this was on the New York Times bestseller list for 176 weeks. I also recognize the author's name, BJ yeah. Novak. Yeah. yeah. Um, next up, and everybody knows this one, if you have kids, it's this one right here. All right, here, let me this hold it up. Dragons Love Tacos, 386 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. And it answers an important question, because if you have a dragon and you're not sure what to feed them, now you know. Okay, so here's yes. the deal. Dragons do love tacos, but they can't handle spicy salsa. Oh, no. You okay. don't want to be around a dragon if he's had spicy salsa. Maybe some Tums. No, it's not going to help okay. with fire-breathing dragon, David. <laughs> it's just not going to help. That's why dragons are very difficult to keep, let me tell you. One of our right. favorite lines <laughs> is this one right here. This is uh, the sour grape. Right. It is right now checked out at all of the Allegheny County Library Association libraries. I don't even know how we got it here. I think this because is probably, it's so in demand. I saw it at Target the other day. This is the latest book from this, the team, Jory John and Pete Oswald. Um, it teaches kids about emotions, but they use a really clever way to do it using vegetables and fruits and foods. Yeah. It's yeah. fun. It's a lot of fun. Well, the there's kids so love much. Them. There's so much effort and work and cleverness that yes. goes into this. So our last one is Night Owl. It's yes. up front here. And that's checked out also at most libraries. It is also a newer book, and it's all about what it takes to be a hero. Um, so the really fun thing is we have all of these books. If you weren't able to jot them down, if you're interested, though, we have them all posted at PittsburghTodayLive.com. Our uh, web extraordinaire, Heather Lang, worked really hard yesterday to make sure that these were posted for you and ready to go for yeah, today. Yeah, we like to have that for you yeah. so you can look it up. And this was great to have them yes. here for us, so thank you very much.